Hello everyone, did you know that you can ask God to bless you? Today, we're going to dive into an incredibly powerful prayer from the Bible, the prayer of Javis. This prayer is simple but so profound and it's all about seeking God's blessings. Javis prayed for God's favor and the Bible tells us that God heard his prayer and answered him. But what does this mean for us? How can we pray in the same way to receive God's blessings in our lives? And how can we be a blessing to others? At the end of this video, I'm going to lead you in a powerful prayer for blessings, enlargement, guidance, and protection. Just like Javis prayed, so stay tuned because I believe that our God is going to answer our prayers today. Who was Javis? Javis is only briefly mentioned in the Bible, but his story holds a powerful message for all of us. In 1 Chronicles 4, 9-10, it says Javis was more honorable than his brothers. His mother has named him Javis, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Javis cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm, so I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. In these two short verses, we see a man who boldly asked God for blessings, for expansion, for his guidance, and for protection. Despite the fact that his name meant pain, a constant reminder of the hardship surrounding his birth, Javis didn't let that define his life. Instead, he prayed for transformation. So why is Javis' prayers so important? Let's break it down. Number one, Javis prayed for blessings. First, he asked for God to bless him. And this wasn't a selfish prayer. It was a prayer of humility and faith. Javis understood that all good things come from God. He boldly sought God's favor and abundance. Number two, he prayed for enlargement. Next, Javis asked God to enlarge his territory. This can be seen as a prayer for increased influence, opportunities, and impact. Not just for personal gain, but to be a blessing to others. Number three, he prayed for God's presence and guidance. Jabez also asked God that his hand would be with him. He recognized that he couldn't navigate life's challenges alone and he needed God's wisdom, direction, and strength. Number four, he prayed for protection. Finally, Javis prayed for protection from harm. He wanted to live a life free from pain, and he trusted God that God would shield him from danger both physically and spiritually. Now, let me share powerful story of faith from the Bible. A story that shows what happens when we step out of faith and trust that God will bless us and use us even when the odds seems impossible. This is a story about David and Goliath, one of the most famous examples of faith in action. We all know the story. The young shepherd boy David was chosen by God to defeat the giant warrior, Goliath, who had been taunting, challenging the army of Israel. Goliath was over nine feet tall, armed with the best weapons, and had the entire Israelite army shaking in fear. But David didn't see the giant that needed to be feared. He saw a God who was bigger than any giant, and he stepped forward in faith. David's words are key to understanding the power of faith. In 1 Samuel 17, 45, 
you come against me with sword and spear but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied David wasn't relying on his own strength or abilities he was relying on God's power and his ability to bless and protect those who trust in him as we know with just a small stone and a sling David defeated Goliath not only did he defeat the giant but he also set an example for all of us of what faith in God can accomplish David prayed with confidence and trusted in God's plan for his life and God blessed his faith by giving him the victory David's story reminds us that no matter how big the challenges we face might be, God is bigger. We trust in Him. This is David, and He will bless us and enable us to accomplish things beyond our ability. So how can we apply Jabez's prayer to our lives? How can we ask for God's blessings in a way that honors Him and opens the door for His favor and guidance? Number one, ask boldly for God's blessing. Just like Jabez, we can approach God and ask His blessing. It's not wrong to ask God for His favor. Whether it's in our finances, relationship, or health, He wants us to thrive. Number two, Pray for enlargement. When we ask God for enlargement of our territory, we are praying for growth and influence. Pray for opportunities to serve others, to make a positive impact, and to be used by God to fulfill His purpose in the world. Number three, seek God's presence and guidance. Don't just pray for blessings. Ask for God's hand to be with you. Seek His guidance in every decision, big or small, and trust that He will lead you in the right direction. Number four, pray for protection. Just as Jabez prayed for protection. We can ask God to keep us safe from harm, from the evil one, and from anything that would bring us pain in a world of uncertainties. God protection is our refuge now let's take a moment to pray of Jabez together wherever you are I invite you to join me in asking God for his blessings enlargement guidance and protection let's pray with faith knowing that God hears us and he is eager to bless us Father God, we come before you today with hearts full of faith and gratitude. Just like Jabez, we acknowledge that everything we have comes from you. And we recognize that you are the source of all blessings. You are the one who can enlarge our territories, increase our influence, and give us the strength to overcome any obstacles. Lord, first and foremost, we ask for your blessings. We pray that you would pour out your favor upon us in our homes, our families, our work, our health, and every area of our lives. We are not asking for blessings just for ourselves, but so that we can be a blessings to others. Help us to use the blessings you give us to serve, to uplift, to share your love, with the world around us. Lord, open doors of opportunities for us, doors that we cannot open on our own, but doors you will open because you are good and of your goodness. Father, we know that your favor is not just about material wealth, but about peace in our hearts, joy in our lives, and the strength to endure when times are tough. Lord, bless us with abundance of peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. Bless us with wisdom, wisdom that leads us in the right direction, wisdom that guides our decisions in our life so we don't walk blindly but in alignment 
with your will. We ask you, Lord, to enlarge our territory, stretch us beyond where we are today, expand our influence in ways that bring glory to your name. We pray for opportunities to serve in places we never imagined to make an impact that lasts for eternity. Bring the right people into our lives and remove the wrong ones. Open up doors that no man can shut and close the ones that are not meant for us. We desire to walk in the calling you have set before us, Father. Lord, help us also to pray for your presence to be with us every moment, just as Javis prayed for your hand to be with him. We ask you today to walk beside us, to guide our steps, to give us strength in our weakness, and to provide clarity in our confusion. We don't want to go anywhere without you, Lord. We trust in your direction, knowing that you will never lead us into danger, but always lead us toward victory. Father, we know that in this world, there will be trials, but we also know that you are our protector. And we pray for your divine protection from sickness, from harm, from the attacks of the enemy, and from any plans that are not aligned with your will. Keep us safe, Lord, and protect our loved ones. We ask you to build a hedge of protection around us, a shield that no weapon formed against us can penetrate. Cover us with your peace. Let no fear and anxiety rule our hearts because we know that we are safe in your hands. We pray for your protection from the evil one, from anything or anyone that seeks to harm us or distract us from your purpose. Protect our minds, our hearts, and our spirits. Lord, help us to discern what is good and pure and keep us away from anything that could lead us into temptation or sin. We pray that you would send your angels to guard us, to surround us with your presence and to stand firm on your behalf. Father, we also ask that you would keep us free from pain just as Javis prayed. We ask that you would heal us from all our sicknesses and free us from the burdens that weigh heavy on our hearts. Heal us physically, emotionally, and spiritually. If there's any area in our life we are broken or hurting, we ask to bring restoration, comfort, and wholeness. Lord, we surrender our fears, our doubts, our worries, and we trust you to make our path straight. You know the desires of our heart. You know our needs before we even ask. Yet, you encourage us to come with you for our request. So today, we lay our burdens at your feet. We pray for favor in our workplace, for breakthrough in our relationship, and protection for our children and families. Bless us, Lord, so that we can be a blessing to others. We know that your plans for us are good, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future. We claim promises today. Lord, we believe that you are a God of abundance, a God who blesses, a God who protects, that you for the blessings that are already on their way, the ones we don't even see yet, the doors that are about to open on our lives, we believe you will provide and guide us every step of the way. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. We trust in your timing. We thank you in advance for the great things you're about to do in our lives. May your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. We give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me today. I believe that God has heard our prayers and I trust that His blessings, protection, and guidance will overflow in our lives as you walk in faith just as he did for James and David. Remember, God is not only willing to bless you, but to use you to bless others in return. Friends, if you found today's video helpful, give it a thumbs up 
and share it with someone who could use a prayer for blessings. Let me know in the comments how I can pray for you. And don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting videos. Until next time, keep trusting God, keep praying with faith, and stay blessed.